Hi everybody, it's me, Erin here. Um, books are falling on me, that's how many there are. So this is going to be a book review for In Office Hours by Lucy Kellaway. Um, this is the last book I just read. Pretty good book, um, what can I say about it? It's uh, written in British, it's written in Britain, or based out of Britain. Um, it had lots of British slang. And even though I do enjoy that quite a bit, considering my friend Fiona is very British, uh, I found some of it kind of hard to understand. Um, it was a little bit too maybe in depth for some of that, but it was still an enjoyable read and a super easy read too. I mean, obviously not too much to it. It was about two uh, office ladies. One is in a higher position, Stella, um, you know, CEO type of type of position, and then the other one is Bella who is um, much lower, like, uh, you know, personal assistant type of position, so just starting out her career. Different ages as well, one's, you know, 50 plus kind of thing, the other one is, uh, I think she was like around 20, 25-ish, so uh, definitely different ages and groups there. So it was really good. I liked how the author, Lucy, um, how she did the two names really similar. First I found, I thought, oh, that's ridiculous. But then after a while, I realized she was trying to relate the two characters together. They're both going through affairs, they were both, um, you know, she just wanted to relate the two characters even though they had such different stories. So I did enjoy that in the end actually and I got, I got her similarities there, why she was doing that. Um, I didn't get 100% involved in the characters as I did with some previous novels. Um, it was still really good and I would, you know, pick it up to read, it was an easy read, but uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it or tell, well I shouldn't say recommend it, but I don't know if I would tell, you know, read it again and and uh, rave about it. So I gave it a 3 out of 5. Um, again, it was easy read. I went through it. I did enjoy reading it. I uh, just, there's a couple things that I was kind of a little irked about. And I also thought the sex scenes would be sexier. I have to admit, I was kind of looking for that office romance to be pretty hot. And it wasn't so, so much. So um, my sister actually, Kelsey, agreed with me on that too, so I wasn't alone there. But that is In Office Hours still read it. It's, um, it is fun. Uh, I think actually, you know, if you get that, and I do enjoy dry sense of humor and they did have quite a bit of that, so go Brits. Um, anyways, besides that, we're going to go on to our next one, okay? So that's In Office Hours. Finish that. Next one, I talked about a little bit previous. We're reading A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Give you a view there. Uh, basically, um, I just started. I am in maybe a chapter in, um, and uh, it's gotten rave reviews. Not only I know one of the girls in our book club, Kelsey, has read this book already, um, but she loved it. So I'm going to try to convince her to give some suggestions and that sort of thing, or maybe even a review on this afterwards. So it's. Um, yeah, it's a, a basically about a witch who doesn't want to be a witch, I, I suppose, and she's deciding, uh, she's deciding what, um, she comes across a book and it opens up a whole world of, um, mystery and, and sci-fi and, you know, it'll be good. I know it, I'll really enjoy it, uh, the whole Twilight themes taking over, so, of course, I got wrapped up in it too. So, I'm sure it's going to be an easy read, but it will be, I'm, I'm confident it's going to be very enjoyable, so far so good. And um, stay tuned for more of that one, alright? So that's A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. And uh, just started it, so grab a book, grab a copy, you'll probably be able to catch up because I haven't got that far. Okay? That's that one. Now, the next book, I want to say two books ahead, uh, just so some people read faster than others, some people are slower, so you can pick and choose which ones you want to join along with. Um, we went, uh, I'm trying to pick some ones that'll be fun and interactive, like if there's a movie coming out based on the book, uh, that's, you know, that's kind of fun. I'm trying to throw in one in each mix, as well as, um, you know, just something that seems entertaining. I'm going to try, most of the books I've chosen so far have been pretty easy reads. Uh, I want something that's more, you know, summer's here, let's relax and just enjoy, you know, a beachy read, I call them. And, um, but we will try to do a few more serious books, so I have, have a couple I have in mind, so uh, stay tuned for those. But in the meantime, the next one is The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown. That's what she looks like. Um, I kind of chose this, obviously my sister Kelsey and I, two very different people. Love her with all my heart. But uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this because it's, I think it's a, basically two sisters, very different personalities. 
They love each other to death, but sometimes they just don't like each other. And that's essentially what the book cover is reading. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I hope I'm not offending her by saying that, but uh, I think she would agree with me. We have a very good relationship, but sometimes we just clash on certain things. So I think we're really going to enjoy this book. I think it's going to really hit home, maybe in some places. So that'll be good. I like to relate to books in my own personal you know, experience sometimes uh, can get me engrossed in the novel a little bit more. So that's uh, another one coming up here, The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown. I'm going to start this one after I finish The Discovery of Witches. So if you want to keep up with me, this will be the next one after that. Anyways. And last but not least, I don't want to leave these too long. Um, this one, like I mentioned previous, I'm trying to do a few... Um, a few of them that are based off a movie afterwards. So uh, we had just actually, some of the girls in the book club had just gone and seen Water for Elephants, which we had an interesting experience. Didn't get to finish the movie at the theater, long story to that, but it was awesome up until that point. So we missed about the last 10 minutes. I'm um, gonna have to go back and check it out, but it was really good up until that point. But it's fun just to get out, you read the book, you can see the differences, talk about the differences from the book to the movie after, and uh, I'm gonna try to keep doing that. So. With that being said, the next one is called One Day by David Nichols. That's the cover of it there. Um, this is ba There's a new movie coming out July 8th, I think it's being released. Uh, so we got a couple months before that comes out. It's starring Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturges. So some pretty good actors there. Um, basically it's about two characters, Dexter and Emma, who... I guess slept together one time in college days and every single day for the next 20 years on that exact date they meet up so and I don't know if it's always together or not but they do somehow connect on that day and it's um, basically on the 15th of July every year so it's all of their you know learning their lessons growing up from college days all the way into their you know 40s 50s and uh, all the activities that go on between there so that is One Day by David Nichols don't know much more than that. Obviously, I haven't started it yet, but that'll be on the list as well. So that's what it looks like. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying the book so far. Um, I know I really enjoyed the... I mean, we only had two, but it's been fun. So uh, stay with me and give me your suggestions. I have a couple from a friend of mine. I'm going to throw that in for the next round. So uh, stay tuned for that. But I really do welcome your suggestions and uh, comments. If you guys liked a book, hated it, let me know. I'm trying to share as much as I can from hearing from other people. But it would be fun to hear your thoughts and words out on the, on the blog as well. So take care. Thanks for joining. And we'll talk soon.